In a previous episode, we learned that Mashiach can come every or any day of the year. Well, here's the problem. The Gemara in Maseches Rosh Hashanah on page 11b seems to say otherwise. There we read, according to one opinion, that of Rabbi Eliezer, the Nisan Nigalu, we were redeemed in the month of Nisan. However, we will only be redeemed in the future in the month of Tishrei. And a juxtaposition is created between the shofar sounding on Rosh Hashanah and the idea of the shofar being sounded when Mashiach comes. Rabbi Yoshua disagrees. But Nisan Nigalu, he says, we were redeemed in the month of Nisan. Uben Nisan Asidun Ligal will be redeemed in that same month and that same time. We learn this from the fact that there's this idea of a guarded night or a time, a date that was set aside from the very beginning. The question, of course, for us is, which is true? Can Mashiach come every or any day of the year? Or will he only come in the spring or the fall? This question is actually dealt with in the code of Jewish law, the Shulchan Aruch, which applies to everyday life. Over there, one of the commentaries, known as the Pischei Tshuva, raises this exact question. And he asks, how then is it possible to understand the actual halachic ruling that Mashiach could come on any day? He quotes a responsa known as Tshuva Mi'ava, who suggests that based on the ruling of the Rambam in the 11th chapter of the Laws of Kings, it seems that Biyom Sheben David Ba, on the day that the proverbial son of King David comes, that's the euphemism, codename for Mashiach, does not necessarily mean the exact same date as the Geula, the full and total redemption. That is to say, Mashiach can come every or any day of the year. The Geula Shlema, the perfected, transformed world that we anticipate, pray, and hope for is something that will only come to fruition and completion in Tishrei or in Nisan, in the fall or in the spring. May Mashiach already come, and may the Geula and its fullness arrive speedily and in our days. Amen.